Call of Duty has just revealed 912 camos for Modern Warfare 3, as well as giving us a closer look at some of the mastery camos, a possible weekly challenge to unlock camos, an explanation on how the camo system is going to work in MW3, and the camos from MW2 that you can put on your MW3 weapons. This is all revealed through the Call of Duty blog and summarized by Charlie Intel on Twitter, so I'll be going through some of his tweets to show you guys some of the more interesting bits. And the one that really caught my eye is that there could be weekly challenges for us to unlock camos. So here in this tweet, it says Modern Warfare 3 will feature weekly challenges with rewards like weapons, aftermarket parts, and new camos for completing all the challenges each week. And they include an example here of a Golden River camo, which honestly looks pretty cool. Don't know how it's going to look on a gun, but the preview image here is nice. And it says this can be unlocked by completing all four weekly challenges. And over here, it says that you can get the Jack Raven kit, which is, I am assuming, an aftermarket part for the Jack. And you have to do challenges like get 20 operator kills with the MCW or get 15 operator kills with sights equipped to a recommended rifle or 15 headshot kills with the MCW. Like this is just normal daily challenge stuff that you'd see pop up and you'd only really get XP for it in the past. But it seems like here, this is how you're going to be able to get all these cool aftermarket parts to change up your weapons. And if they're going to add in some camos like this, this will give me way more incentive to do those weekly challenges. I'm hoping they can keep up the production of nice camos because if they keep throwing in some good camos here like every other week, I will be stoked. But we also got the official look at these multiplayer mastery camos and some of them look really nice. So starting out here, we have gold, which kind of has a circular pattern to it. It's almost like a, a hotel ceiling type pattern, but honestly don't look too bad. It's definitely not my favorite, but it's a cool new take on what gold would look like. And then we have forge, which is like this game's platinum, which isn't really my favorite. It looks like there's a bunch of like jagged rocks or something all in the middle of it, but it could be decent on some different blueprints. And then here we have the priceless camo, which is beautiful. It looks like a bunch of gems put together and this camo is animated. Unfortunately, we don't have any video footage of it being animated just yet, but it looks like it's about blue and pink and some green in there. And it's a really nice looking camo. And then we have Interstellar, which also is another animated camo. This is almost like another take on Orion. It's a little bit darker and has some like bright red spots sprinkled throughout, but I think it looks pretty good. We also got to look at some of the zombies mastery camos, and these are for the Modern Warfare 3 weapon. So Modern Warfare 3 weapons and Modern Warfare 2 weapons both have different camos for them. But these revealed a little bit ago, and honestly, I like this one a little bit better than the multiplayer gold camo. This is the Golden Enigma, which is like a nice white and gold camo with the, the accents on it being gold outlines of other weapons, which is pretty cool. Then we have the Zircon Scale, which is going to be like the Plague Diamond for this game. And honestly, it's not too bad. I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I liked Plague Diamond in this. I feel like I'm going to be doing the same because right now it looks all right. It's not like the greatest camo out there but I think it'll probably grow on me. And then we have the Serpentine camo, which is animated, which is a nice, like almost emerald green with golden cracks throughout it. I think it looks pretty decent. I like how weird and wild they're getting with these camos. I, I like a lot of the vibrancy. And then speaking of vibrant, we have the Borealis camo, which is also animated. And this is also kind of similar to Orion, but I like it a lot. It's got some really nice colors in it, and I think it'll look great on a lot of weapons. And here we have the Zombies camos for the MW2 weapons. So if you bring your MW2 weapons into MW2, you three zombies, you can get these zombies camos on those weapons, starting with golden ivory, which honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of. Like I mentioned before with the multiplayer gold camo, how it kind of looks like a hotel ceiling. This looks like a hotel wall. So you can basically furnish a whole hotel with these weapons. Then we have spinal husk, which looks crazy. This reminds me of uh, the Lapa blueprint from Cold War. This is basically like a camo with eczema. And then we have Arcania, Arcandia. I can't read, but this is an animated camo and it's just basically like a solid black with like moving spider webs on it. And there's also a spider here in the middle. Honestly, a little underwhelming for one of the mastery camos, but maybe I'll change my mind on it once I get it in my hands. And then here we have Bioluminescent, which is also a little underwhelming to me. From all the leaks that came out earlier, it seemed like Bioluminescent was going to be a really nice looking camo. This one again is animated, but it seems like a lot of the camo that pops out to you is more of like the ocean floor, the sun rays like breaking through the water and not a whole lot of like the bioluminescent parts. Maybe it'll look a lot better in game with all this moving because I do like these blues and these pinks, but it seems like there's not a whole lot there and they really just want you to work on your MW3 weapons. And in case you're wondering about any of your MW2 camos that you can bring into MW3 and if you can put them on your MW3 weapons, you can, but only your base camos. So that means you can't put any of your mastery camos, like you can't throw Orion onto your MCW, but you can throw 
throw on like your solid color camos or any other fun camos that you have. And I think this does include event camos. So if you got your ghostly camo from the haunting event, you should be able to use it on your MW3 weapons. At least that's what all signs are pointing to right now. And then of course we have our MW2 mastery camos here that we'll be carrying forward and you can only use these on your MW2 weapons. But this is how they're going to look in that game. And here's another look at our MW3 multiplayer mastery camos, which still look really, really good. These two camos specifically. And here's another angle of our MW2 weapon zombies camos and of MW3 zombies camos. And in this tweet here, we get a look at what some of the base camos are going to look like. Honestly, a lot of these aren't that interesting to me. I do like some of the colors on them, but the patterns on it are a little eh. But in this tweet, they say that MW3 base camo challenges are unique to each weapon category. And they say, for example, individual SMGs will have different set of base challenges compared to individual shotguns, LMGs, and so on. So I'm not quite sure if they mean like all SMGs will have the same camo challenges because it's going to be like MW2's camo system where each weapon only has four base camos to do, you know, besides the launchers and the melees. So does that mean that each SMG is going to have like get this many headshots, get this many kills from behind, get this many kills from cover or something? I hope it's not either of those challenges, by the way. But is every SMG going to have the same four camo challenges to do? Or is it saying that you only get specific challenges for the SMGs? Like maybe you only have to get point blank kills with the SMGs. And then when you do LMGs, you're not going to have point blank kills on any of those weapons. So this one did leave me a little bit confused, but we do get a nice little preview at some of the base camo. And like I mentioned before, they're just confirming here that each weapon is going to have four base camos for both multiplayer and zombies to unlock. That's going to be a lot of new camos. That's why there's going to be 912 of them. And just in case there was any doubt, you don't have to unlock Modern Warfare 2's weapon mastery to be able to get Modern Warfare 3's weapon mastery. The grinds are all independent per the game's weapons per Charlie Hintel. And we don't get to see what specific challenges we have to do, but this outlines what we got to do to get up to the mastery camo. And this should be pretty simple. It's like MW2's camo system, but for here it says complete all four base zombie camo challenges for the specific weapon and then complete the golden ivory camo challenge. Usually a certain number of zombie kills in success extract with the weapon in a single deployment. So we get a little preview of what some of the challenges could be. And it looks like it's saying you need to get a certain amount of kills with the weapon in one go. So like one game of zombies, you have to get a certain amount of kills with that weapon. And then you need to extract with it. You need to exfil with that weapon. And then to get the Zircon skill, obviously you need to complete the golden Enigma camo challenges for the weapon that you're doing and as many weapons as it takes to get that class done. And then that allows you to start working on this next mastery camo. And this one, it looks like it's going to be zombie kills while it's pack a punch, which is cool. And then for the Serpentine camo challenge, you need to complete 37 of the Zircon scale camo challenges. So you're only going to need to do 37 weapons to get up to the mastery camo in this game. And the challenge size is usually a set number of special or elite zombie kills with the weapon. And then to get the Borealis camo, the final camo, you need to complete 37 of the Serpentine camos. And then here, Charlie Intel points out the different camo categories we have. Like in MW3, we had like skulls and fun and like topo. Here, we're going to have poison frogs, graphical, topo again, glitterly flats, retro, neapolitan, under the microscope, high contrast, wavelength, two-tone brush strokes, perfect symmetry, psychedelics, blur, bold, butterfly, puzzle, skeletal, and glitch mil spec. Honestly, from the sound of all those, those all sound pretty good for camo categories. Because honestly, I don't really like the woodland camos or like the digital camos, unless there's some like crazy looking color. I don't really care too much for like the realism I'm going to actually hide somewhere with the camo. I like having the option to use those, but unlike every camo category, having some of these like dull bland camos filling up all the spots we could have like some nice camos with. And then here in this tweet, we get a little preview at some of the other camos that could be in the game in this one right here. The bottom middle looks really, really nice. But I am seeing that some of these camos have like wear on them, like here on the stock, there's like scratches everywhere. And I hate that. I wish there was a way to pick how much wear you want on a camo because some people, they want their weapon to look a little more roughed up. And other people want to have their camo look flawless. That way they can enjoy it a little bit more. Because there is some like decent camos that have been in these games that when you put it on your gun, it just looks terrible because it's all scratched to shit. Like here on this mag, it's like completely worn. So I know this probably won't happen, but if you're listening, COD, add like a wear meter to each camo so we can pick and choose if we want it to look all scuffed up or if we want it to look flawless. And then also we have another collage here of what some of the other base camos look like. And this looks like a little bit of what we saw earlier, but this looks 
beautiful. It's very vibrant, very clean. This is just a great looking camo already. Up here looks pretty decent as well. This looks cool. Like these are the same pattern actually, and it's just different colors. Same exact pattern. And honestly, I don't think I mind it too much. I just hope that every camo that comes out in that category isn't that same exact pattern. Maybe they should switch it up a little bit. And here we have a look at one of the weapons in game. You can see some of the base camo challenges here for the M4 or the base camos. And we do have a little bit of like the woodland looking camos, like more of the mill spec type stuff. These aren't the craziest, but you know, they're pretty standard camos when it comes to COD. And we have another look at some of the skull category here. These look, some of them are all right. I really like this one, the more realism looking one. I think this would look sick on a lot of the blueprints that we got from the haunting. And I'm sure there's some other camos out there that have like different skull designs and different colors that would look nice. What I do want to see is kind of some like CSGO type thing. They kind of did it here where these little dots on the weapon kind of line up with the camo pattern. And I want to see just one skull here look like it's got googly eyes on it. We got one down, we just need the other one. And this is what the MW2 and NW3 weapons look like side by side with both their multiplayer and zombies mastery camos. The bottom row here being the MW2 weapons and the top row is the MW3. But that's basically all the camo news to come out today. I'm really excited. I like how a lot of these look and there's going to be so many to grind that we're going to have nonstop stuff to do, which is gonna be great but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later